ahead and uh, zoom in here. I, I've saved this so that I could show you how to, how to do it wrong. What is all over this bolt? Loctite. Loctite. Yeah, some Loctite. You got some pieces in the middle or whatnot. If you're trying to take fasteners like this and shoving it in this hole, you are just going to create problems. On the bottom uh, left corner there, can you guys see uh, left corner of the engine be your right shoulder if you're looking at it? Can you see the Loctite? Yep. yep. All right, that's the stuff we want out of there, okay? So here's the next problem. I recommend using a thread restore kit like this one rather than a tap and die. It's less aggressive on the threads. I don't hurt this or hurt the tool. I'm going to put grease on there. I, I just cannot stress this enough, and I, I'm not really even sure why it's such a problem. I'm going to put some grease on here, okay? Now, I just said that this needs to be really good and dry. There's hardly anything in there, so that came out of there really good. If I take and apply, and even if I clean this perfect, I carb cleaner it, get it really dry, and I apply a Loctite to this and there's grease in there, is it ever going to cure? No. Nope. Never, 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 never. You have to thoroughly clean the Loctite off this, thoroughly clean the threads in here, get that grease out of there, get it really good and dry here. I'll just do this one quick. Stop whatever you're doing and look at this photo. What am I doing? One of the most overlooked things too from technicians. I'm verifying my work. I'm not trusting that I got it out. I'm going to stop, look down in there at the flashlight. Now I'll just go ahead and repeat the process on the crankshaft threads. I'm kind of going at an angle yep. instead of like this because that's going to shove everything in. It doesn't give it a chance to bounce out. Okay, now we need to do uh, the bolts. I'm going to get off the workbench. This is a good idea too. I mean, obviously I got some Loctites I'm trying to get out here. There's no sense in me putting it right here. So I'm just going to kind of get off to the side where I'm not walking or anything right now and I could clean it up later. Does that make sense? Yep. Now notice I was able just to do this by hand. You know, nothing, nothing too special about it, okay? Um, just, man, this couple of seconds of work is absolutely mandatory. Good, dry. So go ahead and clean my tools now and put them away. One thing you want to do, get the broken one. looking at our kit here, and can you see that chunk that's missing? Okay, so that was returned to this kit because the last technician didn't do what? Check it. They, they didn't check their work. Would you agree with tap and dies that you're putting so much grease on there, it'd be really easy to not know you hurt the tool? Yeah. yeah. Where is this chunk, is my question. It's, an engine. it's in something, right? Like this means you're doing holes. You're doing blind holes typically. That piece is gone. If I were that technician, I'd want to know where it was at. I'd want to know if it fell down into something. Imagine when you're working in areas like this, if I'm working in here and that chunk breaks and it falls down in the motor, that's that human error part we talk about a lot. You need to check your tools, inspect them, clean them and put them away so that you don't hurt equipment or hurt yourself. Another tip, make sure and spray away from your workspace. Spray off the table, not at where you're trying to assemble something. Same thing goes for the blowgun. Be careful what you're going to project right back up into your workspace. Do you think we see this one a lot? Yeah, we sure do. And it's just another one of those things that's just skipped. And I, I think a lot of people haven't built it into their muscle memory as a technician to understand and comprehend. I have to do this. It's not an option. Uh, you know, I've got other videos on here that really go into a deeper study on Loctites and sealants and, and different things. So check them out. But uh, you've got to understand... What you're working with, it's the only way you're going to be able to uh, assemble the stuff correctly and, and not have any problems. So dig in.